Geolocating a digital model in ArcGIS Pro consists of three steps. It doesn't matter if the digital model is an IFC or a Rabbit file. So the first step is to inspect the digital model. We'll go right click, properties, we'll expand the spatial reference and the world transformation. If it's a non-coordinate system, this means that there's no projection associated with it or neither WLD3. The next thing, we'll just click on the model. Now we know that this model is an IFC to X3. That means the coordinate systems are not embedded into it. We'll just close the model and open the geolocation. There's no information. We expect that. Then we'll look at the model transformation. We can see that the X, Y, and Z shift are 0, 0. That means that the X, Y, and Z of the position were not embedded into the model. This means we need to do a full georeference. So we'll go to the validate position. Step two. As we can see, we have two questions. One is the coordinate system and the other one is sort of a project area. So it will be shift the model to that location. So we'll start with assigned coordinates. We know that this model is located in Netherlands, specifically the city of Rotterdam. So we're going to use the official coordinate system for the Netherlands, RD new. This will take a, a minute or so. Now that the coordinate system has been assigned, we'll just place an address. So we'll shift the model near close to our site location. We enter the address. Remember, for this to work, you have to have a map or a scene. So for our example, the first one is the correct address. So we click OK and we do transform to suggested location. This will take a minute or so. Now we'll move to step three. We're just going to expand the beam file workspace and we're just going to grab the slabs. So we grab a slab because it's something that is easy to understand what is touching the ground, what is below the ground. As you can see, this building has over 50 floors. So it's a little bit cumbersome to understand what, it's, what needs to be touching the ground. So we're just going to do a definition query to eliminate all the floors that are above the first floor. Now that the definition query has been created, now we have some geometry wise that is manageable. To facilitate the georeference, I added some control points. So for this model, this corner is represented by this ground control point. So let's start. Let's go to the beam data ribbon and click georeference. The georeference tool has been activated. So let's click move. Now we know where is the anchor point for that model. So let's start with the rotate first. As I mentioned before, this corner belongs to this ground control point. So we're just going to rotate the building close enough. We'll do the adjustments later. I'm going to move. We adjusted the scene to get a better view and perspective of the control points and my first floor of the building because I know this is the first floor. So I'm going to change my anchor point. I'm going to click control and because I have the snapping, I'm going to snap to that corner of the building. So now you see that my arrow changed to orange. That means I was able to change my anchor point. So I'm going to move it down. I adjust the position of the camera again, move my mouse until the shape changed to the four arrows and I start dragging the model corner until it snaps. Click save, override the existing. Yes. Close your reference, remove the definition query, remove the slab layer and just add your whole model. And we're done. You just finished your referencing a digital model using the new workflow. Thank you.